Hi all, welcome to Nexus of Thought. Today I want to talk about the Trump assassination attempt. These are 10 takeaways that I get from this in this entire uh, event and the aftermath thereof. First of all, uh, Donald Trump was extremely lucky. A few centimeters to the left and it would have been game over for the 45th president. This is not the situation that you want to be in ever. Secondly, Two big questions need to be answered. Well, actually, there's probably more than two big questions, but these are the two that spring to mind immediately. Question number one is, um, how was the gunman able to position himself so close to Trump? How is that even possible? And secondly, is why didn't police drones pick this individual up beforehand and notify said authorities of what could have happened. So these are two questions that need to be answered. I suspect there's going to be a lot more than these two questions, but right now these are the ones that are making the rounds on, on the internet that people definitely want to know. Thirdly, and this is perhaps even more important, not only did a few centimeters save Donald Trump's life, but a few centimeters also actually probably saved the nation from a cycle of violence that it can ill afford at this time in its history. So be very, very grateful that this shooter, whoever this individual was, actually missed. Number four, Trump showed tremendous bravado, standing up with the clenched fist, blood on the side of his face, the uh, U.S. flag at the background, that iconic picture will go down in the U.S. history. He made the most of a very, very difficult situation um, by reacting with gut instinct to show his strength and his leadership, and this should help him in the future. So well done uh, to Trump for acting somewhat badass in this particular case. Number five. And this is very, very important. The extreme rhetoric generated by Trump haters in the media and elsewhere um, likely motivated the gunman to act. Now, we will not know for sure what the real motives are of the gunman, perhaps for some time, if we ever learn them for sure. But we know that this rhetoric, which has been so pervasive in the media, cannot have helped the situation we need to tone down temperatures and we need to tone down anger you cannot run a country like this how it's going to be get how this is going to happen is isn't is anyone's guess at this particular point number six trump will receive and this is expected a natural boost in the polls and this he can take this into the rnc and uh, use it to the best of his ability. But I don't think it's going to last for as long as a lot of people in the conservative movement think it will. Uh, some are predicting that Trump's going to win 45 out of the 50 states. I believe that is way too optimistic. I think it's going to be uh, very shortly when the media starts turning its uh, attention to the DNC, the succession to Biden, uh, Trump's other issues and, and so-called scandals and uh, hammering the straw man that is Project 2025 to, to turn back some of the gains that Trump likely picked up as a result of this failed assassination attempt. Number seven, the staged conspiracy theory that this was staged to give Trump a boost um, this doesn't cut water. Uh, just as the idea that there was a CIA uh, big state operation um, to, to take out President Trump, in either of these cases, if both were acting, they would not use a 20-year-old gunman who, by all intent or purposes, failed to make his gun club at high school to take out this action. What saved Trump was a few centimeters. No plan. Uh, would have uh, relied on the accuracy of such a shooter to make it happen. So I think that's just pure nonsense. 
Uh, unfortunately, it's gone viral in the media and uh, on the internet and is, is causing more problems than it deserves. Uh, number eight, uh, the security apparatus did fail. I mean, at the end of the day, Trump did live, but that was more by luck than anything else. And what is clearly needed is the security around Trump, as well as Biden, as well as RFK Jr. needs to be stepped up. We don't need another Kennedy to be killed, for example. So this will require an urgent focus and an urgent rethink about how the security apparatus works. Number nine, uh, Joe Biden um, did look somewhat presidential in denouncing the violence. Um, and for this, I give him credit for. I'm not a big fan of Joe Biden. He still, though, uh, doesn't look overall like the person who should be running the country. And although the Dems will do their best to make him look as best as possible, it's clear that his best before date was sometime in the 1980s. So um, this will give him a slight reprieve, Biden, from those who've been dissecting his mental state. But it, uh, but you can expect the focus to return to the mental state issue as soon as possible. Number 10 is that Trump has got momentum. He can build on this. And he seems to be winning on several fronts. The records case with the so-called taken files in Florida seems to have been dismissed. So that was an added boost. But what he has to focus on right now is um, not doing anything silly, uh, giving credit where credit's due, uh, toning down the rhetoric on his side as well, and uh, looking presidential. If he can do those, then he'll stand a good chance of actually winning the presidential election in November. Thank you.